Good morning, y'all. I'm Cupcake. Cornbread. Guess what we finally got yesterday? We went and found our cargo trailer. We ended up getting a six by 10. Uh, so let me show you around a little bit, okay? It has the side door on it and we are going to change out the lock on here so that nobody can actually lock us in and uh, I wouldn't want that to happen. So let's walk around to the back. And so I can show you a little bit back here. Uh, we got the one with the uh, barn doors. You can get the one that has the doors that come down and you'd have a little patio area but I like this and this is kind of I want it because of what we're going to be doing. Um, in this area right here our plans is to have a shower facing inward and then a little small galley right here uh, and then that way I'll be able to do my cooking. Now like I said we got this yesterday and we didn't think about it but um, I'm a ding dong. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so we didn't get that on film, but uh, Cornbread took all these walls off and then he insulated them and then he insulated the ceiling and then he put the walls back up. So we will try to make sure from now on that we capture everything that we're doing. Our plans today is to get the floor down and then start at least the framework of the shower in the galley. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm um, making a template uh, for the floor. That way I can just take this template up, go lay it on the floor that we bought, and be able to cut it because it only came in like a 6 by 12 roll. So I need to make this angle that's here in the V-neck of the uh, cargo trailer. Uh, Cupcake had made the template. We brought it to the garage, um, put it on our uh, flooring. Uh, cut it out, brought it out here, and I did very basic trimming and it fit perfectly. Uh, the flooring we're using, we got from Lowe's. It's a linoleum product. It's a little bit thicker than I think typical, but it's very pliable, easy to cut and easy to roll. We got our shower walls in, uh, the shower base. We still have some work to do on the walls and the base, but it's in now. Um, Next, we're going to be doing the moisture barrier and the tin. We use strips of Luan for the ceiling. The cedar we're using is from uh, a kit you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot, I'm sure but it's simply cedar panels that are intended for closets. Uh, but they are very thin, very lightweight, and very easy to install. We did our entire ceiling for the 6x10 trailer for right at $100. We have, we're starting to put the walls up. Um, we have all the insulation behind the walls, all the insulation in the ceiling. We put vent caps up. Uh, the ceiling is done. Um, we have a little bit of mold work to do and closing a few areas in, but it's coming together. All right, wanted to give you one more update. Um, after this, I'm not gonna post anything until I'm completely done. But uh, this is the galley, the back galley of the uh, cargo trailer. It's a 6x10. Uh, on the left, that wall you see there, that's the back side of the shower. Um, this is where we're going to have the, the uh, stove, ice chest, uh, pretty much everything else. Put some spice rack on this side. Got some storage over here. Um, and inside the trailer... You can see there's the shower. We're gonna put tin up for that. And then there's, we're gonna have a small wardrobe, you know, hold a few things of clothes. And I'm gonna finish that out 
I got a little bit of trim work to do there. It's a nice little uh, chest there of drawers. Uh, it's actually uh, from Ikea, but it fit perfectly in there. And up here I haven't yet started on the front Vino section. But it's coming together. Cedar ceiling's holding up well. Um, we're just doing a lot of double checking now. Making sure everything's where it's supposed to be, how it's going to function. 